Hey guys, Stephanie here. Everybody's got some sort of fitness goal. I've always been a really active individual. Now for the first time in my life, I think my focus is to be lean and muscular. Sort of like the girls here. Well, something like that. So tune in every week. I will have a vlog updating my progress on how things are going for me in my pursuit towards a lean and muscular body, whatever that will look like from this before photo. It's something to aim for again, and I think that really keeps something like fitness, which is a never-ending life journey in perspective, keeps me motivated. And sure, it's a totally vain goal, but I think that's okay, because who doesn't want to look good in a sports bra or look good with no clothes on, right? At the same time, this is kind of terrifying to me because I've never done anything like this. I don't know what exactly will work for me and what won't. So this is basically a first timer's perspective on muscle building and then becoming lean as opposed to just being active and being fit. I'm three weeks into my major muscle building period, aka bulking, and there are a couple thoughts I have I wanna share. My first thought is actually my, one of my favorite things to do and to talk about, which is eating and food, of course. I have to eat all the damn time. But then I say it like it's a bad thing. And as much as I love food, it was difficult for me to fathom that eating more food doesn't lead to automatic fat gain, like just ballooning up to this pinata or something, you know? In this whole industry that's saturated with information on losing weight, eating more is totally the opposite and runs counter to everything that, you know, my mind is kind of set on. In my bulking period, I've been forcing myself to eat, but at the same time wrapping my head around the concept of needing to eat more to build muscle. Initially, I did gain some fat weight from eating so much. But now that I've found my calorie sweet spot, which I'll talk about in another video about how I experimented and found that spot, sweet spot, I'm not gaining weight as rapidly and I feel stronger in the gym. So I think that's progress. From talking to some of my friends who are one of those people that can eat so much and never gain weight, I now sort of understand their, their, their woes about bulking. It's, a, it's sort of a real first world problem just having needing to eat all this food but not having the stomach space for it, it's really defeating. I actually consider my ability to keep eating despite not being hungry one of my superpowers. The other thing about bulking that's immediately, that I'm constantly feeling, is that I just sort of always feel pudgy. It's an uncomfortable feeling and it's hard for me to not stop and just go back to eating at maintenance or maybe even at a deficit to start losing weight. But I know that's super counterproductive to what I want to do and my eventual goal and I know it'll take time so I just gotta be patient and I just gotta deal with it. Ever since I started working at bodybuilding.com, my perception of what a normal fit body is has been heavily skewed in the more extreme Side. It makes me think that I'm no longer as fit as I thought I was. So I've got to work harder. Because back in my group of friends, I was always one of the more fit people, always doing really active things and just being generally more active than my friends. This serves as really good fuel for motivation for me. So these are just the thoughts circulating in my head about bulking just in my couple weeks of really hunkering down and doing this thing. So please let me know if you feel the same way about bulking. Just share your thoughts in the comments. Are you going through the same thing as I am? Is this also your first time? Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you at my next update. We'll see how that goes. See ya.